All right, good afternoon again. My name is Marcus Stuckey. Uh, I'm the director of engineering for Harris County Flood Control District. And tonight we're here to talk to you about the uh, B100 uh, countywide that we're doing within the area. Uh, before I get started, I'd like to uh, acknowledge some representatives of the elected officials, uh, Sarah Montalongo with uh, Senator Carol Alvarez's office. And we have two representatives from Precinct 2, Antonio Rosario and Maria Molinas. Ah, right. uh, again, we might thank you all for coming out and support, supporting the Harris County Flood Control District and our mission to uh, provide you with flood damage reduction projects. A little bit about the format of tonight's meeting. I will give you a brief overview of Harris County Flood Control District, who we are, what we do, what our roles and responsibilities are uh, when compared to other entities and municipalities. Uh, that will be followed by a presentation of the project that we're here to discuss tonight by the engineer for the project, which will be uh, Dan Schneider. So the Harris County Flood Control District, uh, we are a special purpose district that was created in 1935, 37, I'm sorry, in response to floods in 1929 and 1935 uh, that devastated the Houston area. Uh, we serve as a local partner to leverage federal tax dollars to develop flood damage reduction projects. Uh, Harris County is, is where we are, so we're part of the entire Harris County system. That's Harris County Toll Road, that would be Harris County Engineering Department, and uh, Harris County Flood Control. Uh, our governing body is the Commissioner's Court, so we serve at the will of the Commission, and they serve as our governing body or board of directors, if you will. Uh, right here, you have a map of Harris County. Harris County consists of uh, 22 watersheds, uh, typically draining from the northeast of the county, I'm sorry, northwest of the county, down to the southeast. Uh, that's about 2,200 linear miles of channels within Harris County, which is with a large portion of that being within, uh, under Harris County's flood control district's jurisdiction. Uh, the little red star that you see here is the, about the approximate location of where we are in, in tonight's project, so we're in the Auburn by New Warship. Uh, just to give you a perspective of those uh, 22 miles of channel, uh, that would be the distance from about Los Angeles to New York if you could travel in a straight line. So the mission of the Harris County Flood Control District, we provide flood damage reduction projects with appropriate regard for community and natural values. And a little bit about our process, uh, we have several different stages that we go through when we start a project. Uh, that begins in our planning phase, which is where we would devise a plan. So we go out, gather input from the community, uh, do some Think what we call high level analyses on uh, the project to see what kind of benefits we would get from it. And at that point, we go to a engineering phase where we refine that plan a little bit more and grab a little bit more input from the community. And it goes into a design where we uh, start to put it on paper. And so this is what you get to a contractor to construct the project. Uh, that goes into the implementation phase, which construction starts after a year or so of construction. Uh, we enter into maintenance on the site, and that maintenance is uh, perpetuous. One of my favorite slides here uh, that kind of illustrates the jurisdictions of Harris County Flood Control District, and again, related to other entities. So to the left here, you have what's labeled as city or municipal jurisdictions. Uh, these are going to be your roadside ditches, your storm sewers that get the first flush of water out of the neighborhood. Uh, in the middle, we have a, what's considered a shared jurisdiction, and I'll come back to that. And to, but to the right, we have Harris County Flood Control District jurisdiction. So that's going to be typically the top of the channel from about where the channel starts to go down into the bottom uh, with about 30 feet on either side for us to continue to access and maintain the channel. 
the shared jurisdiction, uh, so Harris County Flood Control District, uh, an example would be a detention basin, which is shown here in the middle. Harris County Flood Control District creates the detention basin to capture and hold water to release it at a slower rate so that uh, any improvements that are done within the neighborhood don't create impacts on uh, an adjacent community downstream. The, the shared portion of that would be another entity, uh, precinct, uh, HOAs. Uh, they would typically come in and put in playgrounds, soccer fields, uh, we have trails, we have a uh, parking space. For public use, whenever the detention basin is, is dry and it's available for the, the public to use, so that's part of that natural values that we try to implement into all of our projects. Um, so, so down at the very bottom, uh, you have what, what's uh, labeled as a before and an after picture. The bottom represents the infrastructure or the, the ditches, or in this case, a storm sewer that was probably put into a neighborhood long before we had certain regulations. Uh, the city or municipal district will go in and create, increase the size of those storm sewers or ditches. Well, what happens with that is it gets water out of the neighborhood faster, so your neighborhoods don't flood, but it pushes the risk downstream to an adjacent community. And the way we mitigate for that impact or to stop it from happening to someone else is with the detention basin that I described here. So the app to show the larger pipe, uh, to prevent that pipe from impacting anyone else, it goes to the detention basin. The detention basin has a smaller size pipe that holds the water and lets it out store so that it doesn't create an impact downstream. And with that, I will pass it on to the engineer for the project, uh, Danny Schneider. Hello, my name is Dane Schneider. Uh, I'm with IDS Engineering, and I'm here to tell you a little bit more about the project. Um, so starting with some background history, uh, many of you may recall that uh, this project really was um, initiated back around 2016 when Harrison <coughs> Authority was um, um, looking at um, expanding uh, San Houston Tollway East. Um, the tollway widening includes some storm sewer improvements, and a larger outfall with a deeper flow line into our most area. And that was pretty much the emphasis for this project. So you can see for project location uh, where we are in the uh, image on, the, on your right, we're located in the Arlington Bayou watershed. Um, the red line up there represents where the property um, or where the project is in this 160 square mile watershed. And the image on the left is a zoom in showing you the 2300 linear foot of improvements outlined in red um, from the San Houston Tollway East uh, down to Spencer Highway. Um, you'll also note in, in some of the exhibits um, and in the, in the beginning slide, Arlington's Bayou is kind of interchangeably um, noted as B100-00-00. That's its Harris County Flood Control District Unit Number designation. Um, the project also includes three bridges that will be replaced. The bridges are kind of hard to see in the streets up there, but the bridges are located at Oleander, DuPont, and Sinclair. And there is a construction phasing plan for replacement of each one of those at, at any given time so that access and mobility issues don't become a problem during construction of the project. There's also a, a phase in the project where we will be um, replacing or relocating, I should say, some city of uh, Pasadena utilities such as sanitary sewer and water lines that are in conflict with the widening or deepening of the channel. Uh, and if you have not had a chance to look at them, there are phasing plans on the tables to my right in the back of the room. Um, and you'll notice on there, um, phase one, for example, is the relocation of the city of Pasadena uh, public utilities, and then phase two, three, and four are the bridges, and, and so on, um, up to the final um, phase, which is phase six, which is, involves uh, the um, installation of what we call natural stable channel features, and um, I will go into more detail on that later in the presentation. So the primary objectives, of course, of the project were to deepen and widen the channel um, to mitigate environmental and flow impacts and to like I said, minimize disruption. So in the existing condition, 
this photo basically shows you what this reach of Harmon's Bayou looks like right now. It's essentially a V-bottom channel, uh, relatively narrow. That's uh, approximately 30 foot wide, at least maximum from bank to bank. It, it kind of varies from 20 foot to 30 foot in areas where it's in good condition or bad condition. And it's, it exists in a, about a 30 foot wide easement with a little to no maintenance zone access behind the bank, um, and especially in the areas where the channel completely occupies the full 30 foot width. And then it's kind of about an average depth um, currently of, of 60 feet, which of course is not deep enough to accept the improved outfalls from the um, San Houston Tolly East widening. So the proposed channel is deeper and wider. And this image is overimposed or superimposed on the, the photograph I had before. If you see off to your right, that V, the red V, is your, the existing Armand um, Bayou channel along this reach. And the blue um, represents the improved, what we would call trapezoidal channel. Um, that's more standard Harris County Flood Control District channel cross section. The, um, so the new channel width will be about 122 foot from bank to bank. It does incorporate standard Harris County Flood Control District 30 foot maintenance zones on both sides of the channel behind the top of bank. And so the required right of way is about 182 feet wide. And, um, and then the depth of the channel will go from six feet to um, on average about eight feet to accommodate again that the um, improved outfall from the San Houston Tollway. And the bottom of the channel will be about 61 feet wide and I want to draw your attention to the note I have there for natural stable channel features along the channel bottom. The, um, that little U shape at the bottom represents um, what, you're, what you see when you go look at the phasing. That you'll see a, what we call a meandering kind of low flow channel. That's what that is and that's, that's part of the natural stable channel features that will be installed in the bottom. So along this 61 foot width of the channel. And so here's some of the natural stable channel features that we'll be using on the, on the project. Um, as you can see here, we label channel bottom, and you see the meander that will occur in the bottom of the finished channel. And some of the items we use, for example, in the photo on the left are um, called um, root ball elements. And these are basically to prevent erosion of the channel um, at the, where the water um, and meets the side slope and flows can get relatively high and cause erosion. The so two photos on the right are um, elements of natural stable channel um, design that you might use to slow down flow in the bottom of the channel, for example, uh, the boulder vein or the riffle. And so all of these work together with the wider channel to um, promote stability in the channel, create natural habitat, and also over the long term minimize Harris County Flood Control District maintenance needs. And so the, the next slide is kind of an example. This, this is actually a project in the Greens Bayou watershed that was recently completed. But if you look um, at the, the blue line we have drawn on there that represents kind of the center line of this particular channel, you see um, how some of these natural stable channel features are strung together along the length of this channel to create that, that stable design that um, provides um, a you know, long-term benefit. Um, this particular example, um, is the, the width from bank to bank varies on this particular completed project by flood control. Um, the arm and body project, of course, will be a constant width bank. So this is really just um, to show you guys where the natural civil channel features end up and, and how they string together along the bottom of the channel to, to create the stability. And that's it. Thank you very much. <coughs> uh, my name is Karen Hastings. I'm with the Harris County Flood Control District Communications Office. And that concludes the formal part of our presentation. But we have gathered together a number of engineers from the Flood Control District and other uh, subject matter experts who can 
answer many of questions. Uh, you may not have understood everything in the presentation, but there are people here who can answer any of the questions you have. Um, uh, they're arranged in the back there uh, by the exhibits, and they can go over uh, the details uh, with you and, and tell you whatever you need to know. If you uh, have a question and you don't know exactly who is the best person to talk to, come and talk to me and I'll point you in the right direction. We also have some extra people here from uh, Harris County Project Recovery. If any of you have uh, uh, issues after Harvey, uh, they might be able to help you. And then the Harris County uh, Toll Road Authority is also here uh, to talk about uh, their project in the same area. Um, like I said, we uh, have a lot of people here to answer your questions, but please take the time also to fill out a comment card uh, that way, we all, all comments will be considered um, in the project, and uh, also it will put you um, into, if, if we send out an email update, we'll know who sent it to you. Uh, and you'll be invited to additional um, meetings. Um, the so. other, oh, and I noticed a couple of you were filming or taking pictures. This presentation will be on the website. I said this before, I get to work at 6.30, so we'll see how fast I can I can get it up in the morning and get the, the presentation up, but it will be posted on our website, and the website address is in the materials that were, were um, handed out to you. So thank you very much for coming tonight. We're glad to see all of you. Appreciate the time.